Hey, this is Len Oliver. I'm just talking to you very briefly about the use of Google Form and how it can be used to uh, take attendance. Also, how it can be used to get some feedback on your kids' emotional well-being and reaching out to them afterwards to see if they understand a lesson. Uh, in my classroom right now, what we have set up is a daily check-in routine. We did that the first week. And every email that is sent to them about what's going to happen the next day mentions they have to do their daily check-in. As soon as I start a Google Classroom with Meet or any of the other programs, I remind the kids daily check-in is needed. The purpose of my daily check-in is for me to see how the kids are feeling. Uh, for example, normally if they were coming into my classroom physically, I'd be able to see them at the door, see who's in a good mood, who's bad, who had a bad night, um, all of these things. So I am depending on the student's honesty to let me know these things, but at least it gives me a starter. Also, if there's a reason why the kids are not coming, they can still pop in for their Google check-in in forms and let me know there's a reason. Maybe they're not feeling well, maybe they had a bad night, and I can credit that as being in contact with me and let them know that I'm going to check in a little bit later. At the end, the exit slip is a good way for me to see who to reach out to first if they need help. So if a kid is having some difficulty with an activity, they can put in that they're having some problems. I can also collect some data by using numbers and averages in order to get a feeling on how a class went. So I'm going to quickly show you um, how to create a Google form, and then I'm going to show you some samples from my own. Um, a student's names and stuff, of course, will be blurred, blurred out so that uh, I protect their privacy. The first thing you have to do when you're going in is that you have to be able to create a Google form. Google Forms are actually rather easy to create to start with. You just go to your Google Drive, make sure you have a nice directory that you want to put something in, otherwise you may have some problems finding it, and go to New. And Forms actually is right in the More section coming right there, and they do have some templates so you don't have to start from scratch. So then you give it a title, whatever you're going to do. And start putting your information in. Now, some of the, acti some of the pro uh, options you have, they're all over here in this toolbar. You can add a question. You can import a question from elsewhere. You can add titles and descriptions. You can add images. You can even add some videos for kids to be able to look through and put a little pause between sections. Now, I'm just going to put that down here as name, or give it a title, sorry, and I'm going to call this example. And I can give it a description if I want to. If not, I'll just come along here to my first question. Now, when it comes to question options, you got short. You got paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop downs, uploading a file. You have a linear scale, which is really, really good to be able to get a feeling of where the kids are and be able to graph that. You have a multiple choice grid in case you're giving them choices, date and time. I always start mine with a short answer and I'm going to give them a name. And of course, I'm going to make this required. The next thing I also do is I add to it, and what I do to add to it is I hit this little button right here, and underneath I put email. That way we're able to keep a short idea on how the students are working, and both of these I click the required button because these are two things that we want to make sure students have in every single one. And as you noticed, switching back and forth between the two, I don't get that overkill of information. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of mine, which later on I'm going to be taking some clips of, just protect the students. Here is my complete daily check-in that I have for all kids in my classroom. 
So they get this automatically in their mail between eight and nine. I put it out eight today because I'm doing a video. I have some questions here, such as your name, your email, what is the date, use a number one to five, tell me how you feel, would you like an individual chat, yes, no, are you coming to the meeting today, name something you'll do to relax, name one friend you plan to talk to today, uh, tell a good joke to cheer me up, and have you downloaded Student Quest. The whole purpose of this is an attendance, but it'd be something that I would normally ask if kids were coming into the classroom to strike up a conversation. Okay. Another one is my exit slip. With well, my exit slip, I have, again, name, date. Uh, did you finish your activities? How did you feel about this activity? Did you finish all the activity there? How did you feel? Did you, uh, what did you learn about one the activities we were doing just to get some feedback to make sure they've done this stuff and at the end of the exit slip for the afternoon if I get some kids who are having some issues I can set up a meeting video meeting either with Google Meet or Hangout depending on the size of the class and see if I can help them out to get the work done so I can get some of that feedback in order to form my next approach with these students now forms gives me the answers and responses in a couple of different ways so for example this one here I have no responses from anybody yet but I'm going to show you what I did receive some responses from and I'll blur out this kid a little bit after so it tells me how many he chose what he felt like whether he wants it in the we'll that. chat so when it comes to the spreadsheet, I will show you an example of what kind of information you do get when you see one of the spreadsheets. So I have a lot of information here that I have collected from a previous one. As you can tell from the information, I have the timestamp, email addresses, names. I have what date it is, in case I want to use the same sheet. But then I have how are you feeling today? So I have some out of a group of five, uh, a level of five, I've got some fives and threes. So the average class feeling is it's a, it's okay day before we start. Okay, but if I had a student who had a two here, I probably would put into my records that I need to have a talk with them. Okay, so I'm getting some of that feedback. Some of it is just idle chat, but this part here is extremely important to me to let me know how they're going to feel before class actually starts. And now when it comes to the other stuff, I have the exit slips. Again, I have my names, my students, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you feel about your lesson? Well, I have some kids with 9, 10, 8, some with the 6s. Those are one I probably casually check back on with an email. Do you understand it now? But this 5 right here, talking experience, I sat down and had a message with the young lady and helped her through the assignments, gave her some extra links, and by the end of the day, she was a-OK -okay for everything to go. So these scales right here give me an idea of how a student is doing and how this form can be used in order to show, let me prepare for the class that's coming and let me prepare for helping individual students. Thank you.